everybody, it's Ken Komet, condovoice.com. I'm here today on a condo balcony to talk to you about windows. Right now, out here in the Gulf, we just experienced a 15 minute severe weather thunderstorm. It blew in, the rain was coming in sideways, and the water was gushing in the windows of this condo unit. It was flowing onto the track and into the floor of the condo. All the seals in the windows are bad. The homeowner here has taped them up and done the best that he can, but it's time to replace these windows. So if you can see behind me, this old window here has the paint scraped off of it. It's loose. The handle is corroded. The seals are gone. The rollers hardly work at all. And this condo unit is right on the beach. So hurricane season is here. And if you have any windows and doors that let the weather in, you got to replace them or repair them to protect your home. We're going to show you in the video to follow just how these windows are going to be replaced. Stay tuned. Okay, folks, we're back, and we're here with Mike with Clearwater Window and Door, right? Yes, sir. How are we doing today, Mike? Excellent. Thank you. All right, we're going to talk about windows and doors. We're on a condo balcony, and we've got one, two, three, four sets of sliders. Yes, sir. And one set of standard uh, window to replace. Now, these windows are old and tired. I've got defects all over the place. What, why did the homeowner call you to replace these? Um, one reason they wanted to make uh, get hurricane rated, you know, so they wouldn't have to worry about the security and the um, through the summers and the hurricanes, and also the doors are just, you know, they're pretty much falling apart. The tracks are oxidizing. The seals are all bad. They're getting wind and water infiltration. Yeah, we just experienced a storm blow through here, and as we stood here watching it, I just saw the water just leach through every weakness in every door. Sure. Yeah. Well, these doors are probably you know 20, 30 years old. It's they're done. <laughs> They're done, and rather than go with shutters, we're going with impact glass? Yes, sir. Okay, and these are PGT windows? Yes, they're uh, PGT impact. They have uh, three panes of glass with the laminated uh, on the inside, and, um, you know, they're, they're Miami-Dade County approved. Uh, they'll, they'll withstand, um, you know, like 150-mile-an-hour winds, and uh, they, they have high sill risers to keep the water from coming, you know, into the house when the, when the storms keep blowing the water onto it. Yep. Yeah. And they're insulated, so they're E-rated, right? Yes, sir. All energy rated, um, meets all the energy codes, and um, yep. Okay, and I noticed some of the tracks are actually deteriorated where they've actually got holes in it. So every rain, that water is going down below the track, possibly into the unit below, right? Yes, sir, definitely. Yeah, they're all aluminum tracks, and the, uh, the, the aluminum oxidizes over time. All the new tracks are vinyl. The only thing aluminum is where the, the, where the rollers actually roll on, but the actual track is all vinyl. It can't corrode, can't rot. That, you know, last forever. Right. Okay, and as far as the condo association is concerned, we got approval from the board of directors. Uh, we showed them the kind of window, the kind of frame, the color, the style, and the size, and they've approved this for installation in this condo, right? Yes, yes. Uh, they make uh, one great advancement recently has been um, they're doing an outside bronze color and a white inside. Um, it was a big problem for years because people didn't like the bronze inside, so now they have the opportunity to do that. Right, so it's more decorative. It serves a function for the color on the outside as far as the appearance. So it's not a dramatic change, alteration, or improvement to the common elements or limited common elements. Plus, it matches most interiors, which are basically white trim and things like that. Right. Yes. Okay, so we're going to show you step-by-step step just how Clearwater Windows and Doors are going to replace these sliders. Stay tuned. So when you remove the existing door, just walk me through the process, how you do the tear-out. Uh, well, we pull the doors, pull all the screws out, cut all the caulks and sealants and everything, and uh, pull the tracks out, and um, you never know what you're going to run into exactly. This uh, had voids all the way underneath the track, and we had to uh, fill them with mortar and uh, level everything up. And uh, this is an example of one of the tracks that we pulled out. Um, here's an old screw, but anyway, these holes are just oxidized from the salt there. Um, guaranteed going to leak into the condo. These condos here, um, not too bad because they have a concrete pocket. Um, that you can see and uh, so the water can't really come in that easily but some condos have the, the outside and the inside floor are, are level and uh, that's guaranteed to be a leak. Okay so I see you've got mortar here you've laid in place so is that what you do? You le yes. self-leveling mortar or is this just some kind of special mortar? No it's just a, it's a mortar that, and then we level it out and um, but not every door needs that it just depends. Yep. All these did these openings were out of whack pretty good so uh, that's about it. And you're trying to square up the opening to fit the size of the new door, yes. too. Because yes. not all doors, when they come out, are square, right? Correct. Right. <laughs> These are way out. Yeah. 
So uh, we have to make the openings right and uh, level and shim everything and, and foam so no uh, air infiltration and uh, caulk them and seal them up and uh, mortar everything so it looks pretty. Yeah. Uh, okay, Mike, so let's talk about fasteners. The old fasteners were short, weak, uh, yeah. not up to code. Yeah. Show me that new fastener. What do you use? Uh, this is a uh, three-inch, quarter-inch uh, Tapcon uh, with a trim fit head designed to go in windows and doors. Um, it goes right through the, uh, the three-quarter buck strip on the building and it goes into the block. Right, so it goes through the wood into the block. Yes, sir. Whereas in the old screws just went into the wood. Yes. Right. Okay. And so then that, that screw is fitted so that it looks pretty based on this framework, right? In these yes. holes here? Yes. Okay, so these are the holes, for example, and they go down through the frame into into the trim and into the block. Yes, sir. All right, and those are waterproofed as well, right? Of course. Yeah. All right. Say, so, hey, Mike, in your hand right now you have what's called a sill riser. Now, a lot of people don't understand that water does kind of get into the framework, but it doesn't get into the unit. Explain to me what the purpose of the sill riser is. Uh, well, the big misconception with sliding glass doors is water does get in the track on a sliding glass door, but it has uh, weak holes that the water will run out. And um, the sill rise adapter builds up the inside of the track, so uh, it, it's like a pan. The water... Uh, before it will build up and come over the sill riser, it's going to go out um, in storms. Okay, and so that goes in place, and it's kind of a toe kick, it's kind of a, a pain sometimes really stepping over it all the time, but that's what keeps the water from getting in the unit, right? Yes, sir. All right, so it's absolutely necessary. Yep. All right. So, Mike, on, this, on the weep hole and the water mm -hmm. intrusion and the plate that you install, uh, just take me through the steps of if it's a hard rain, where does the water flow? Well, the... This bottom track is like a pan. The sill rise adapter stops the water from building up. The water would have to build up this high before it could get into the house. Um, so the theory is it's going to run out before it does that. And also, the track is a um, it's an extrusion with different layers, and the water can get down into those layers and they weep out of these holes outside. Okay, Mike. So the main thing is we want to be airtight and waterproof when we have the new doors in. So what have you got in your hand there? Is that caulking? Yeah, this is a OSI quad. It is a urethane sealant that we use on the exterior of the building. It's all paintable, um, stays flexible, and uh, won't let any water in. Okay, and then you do the entire perimeter with that? Yes, yes, all the way around, and then we, we put a, a heavy bed down on the bottom and seat the track right in it. Yep. Okay, so when you penetrate down into that new threshold you've established down below, do you waterproof those screws before you put them in too? Of course, yeah. We drill them and we shop back them, clean them out, and put the sealant in, then run the screw right through it. Yep. All right, great. Mike, uh, the old doors were lighter. These new doors are heavy with the impact glass. Mm -hmm. uh, the hardware with the old doors uh, fails miserably. So the new hardware, explain that to me, the, the ball bearings, the, the premium grades on these. Yeah, the, uh, these are very large wheel assemblies. They're all stainless steel, um, so they won't corrode out in the salt air. Um, as heavy as they are, they roll very easy. You've got to get them going, but uh, and uh, so they won't ever be a problem. And then also the locking mechanism is a uh, double interlock. It's got two pins that uh, lock into a strike plate on the jam. So uh, security is not an issue. No one's going to get in this door, and uh, they're definitely not going to break the glass. They can try, but they're not coming in. Right. All right. So Mike, you're filling in the void created by the new frame. Yes. And the building. So we've caulked the area between the frame and the concrete block, and so we're just filling in the stucco. Yes. It's just a rough coat, just a base coat, and then we'll do a. Uh, finish coat and then a texture. Okay Mike, so here we are on a finished product. So I see stucco work and talk me through how you finish off these doors. Um, every door is different. It depends with the uh, the new tracks are a lot heavier and wider compared to old doors. So every door installation is a little bit different. Um, this door just happened to end up, you know, flush with the outside wall and uh, we stuccoed everything back in. We had to use um, bonding agents to have the stucco stick to the old building, and uh, we stucco it, and it just needs some prime and paint, and that's about it.